Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our Facebook Live events that we do uh, about on a monthly basis. And I'm here today with Kathy Ferguson. Kathy, you have a special um, place of honor in Facebook Live in District 5 because you are the first person to do two of these. We've never had anyone do two, so you are quite a prestigious thing. <laughs> You can, tell, you can tell your kids, I am the only person to ever be invited back. Oh, okay. It's all right. not because all those other people were horrible. Uh, it's just that we have something really important we want to talk to you about today, and that's uh, kindergarten registration. Um, believe it or not, here we are in January. We're already yes. thinking about 20-21 school year, aren't we? Correct. It's coming fast. <laughs> it's hard to believe. So, Kathy, before we get into kindergarten registration, you've um, done a full half of a year mm -hmm. as a principal. Uh, any reflections on how fast that time went? I'm sure it just flew by, right? Yes, it has flown by. I can't believe uh, it seems like yesterday when I came in. Um, but I have really felt good about the first semester, really getting to know families and students and, and my staff. Um, so it's been a very good learning experience. Oh, good. Well, part of that learning experience is the what you've been really busy on trying to get ready for next year's kindergarten crop. And one of the things uh, before we talk about the specifics of registration is why that's so important to us district-wide is, is just for everyone's information on how we uh, know how many teachers to have next year. Mm -hmm. It's all based on the numbers of, uh, like at the high school level, what students sign up for. So if we have a lot of students mm -hmm. sign up for art, maybe we need to add a little bit of art or shrink a little bit of something else if we don't have as many. So it's all based on student numbers. And so for kindergarten registration, it's really critical that we find out just how many kindergartners out there. Mm -hmm. For example, like our second grade class, as you well know, is yes. one of the biggest classes in the whole district. I think only 225 yes. of those students. So that, that means we need more teaching staff, whereas some classes may be a little smaller. So we just really want to figure out how many kindergartners to expect this year. And with the um, variety of places our students are now, uh, we know all those students at Washington who we expect. But then there's also some that are at Brown Bear and um, Harvard Preschool. There's just a lot of mm -hmm. sources we have to do that. So let's talk about how we're going to find all those people, all okay. right? Okay. Yeah. Well, we've been working the past few months just to get all of the information out, uh, get the team here together in the district so that we are ready to go for January 23rd and January 28th. Uh, both of those events will be at Crosby from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. Um, and those nights in particular, I guess what to expect if I'm a mom, you know, registering my kindergartner, uh, what to expect is when you come into Crosby, we'll have good signage, we'll have staff available as greeters and welcoming families to come on board, uh, informational tables, um, the paperwork that you would need for your child for health records, immunizations, things like that, um, a physical form that would then be completed and brought back at a later date. Uh, the opportunity to pay those fees. Um, we talk about the fees, that's $115. Uh, all can be paid that evening, but if not, that payment plan could be worked out um, with our staff member. We also want to promote that we're going to have a free hot dog meal. So uh, oh. hot dog. Uh, Food always brings food. them in, right? I think so too. <laughs> so the hot dog, bag of chips, a cookie, and a drink. And um, everybody will receive your hot dog ticket when you walk in at the welcome table. And that's the ticket that you'll give in the cafeteria. Um, along the lines of academics and identifying where our kinder incoming kindergartners are academically, socially, emotionally, um, we look at some, some opportunities to screen those children. There will be a table to sign up for um, a screener. Um, there's information tonight at 5 o'clock at Crosby, and that is a parent information night for uh, parents interested in the dual language okay. program. And okay, Mrs. Bogren will be there, Amber Bogren, who's our district uh, dual language coordinator, and she's going to be great helping us answer questions um, for parents who might be exploring that opportunity for their students. Okay, fantastic. So uh, dual language is not um, a requirement. It's an opt-in program, if you will. And so tonight actually is our night where you can come and learn about that. And then you don't have to make a decision tonight. You right. can just, you have some time until the actual date of registration, right? Correct. So tonight, getting that information, kind of go home and think about that monolingual versus a dual language program for your child. And then on the 23rd or 28th, you would be guided then to register for whichever uh, that you would choose. So in these two parallel um, curriculums for our kindergartners, one just happens to be that half your day's instruction is in Spanish, 
and you pick that up along the same time as you pick up these uh, reading skills and math skills, all the things you're learning as a kindergartner, but um, part of your day is in Spanish. Isn't that the, ba the basic difference of it? That's correct. So half of the day in English and half of the day in Spanish. All right, and that's mm -hmm. essentially it. Uh, I hear a, uh, a juicy rumor that there also will be a school bus yes, parked at Crosby for that, right? <laughs> there will. We're going to have a Durham Bus Company come on board. They're bringing a team of staff members to help parents and students feel comfortable. Um, and we'll have an informational table all set up with uh, the bus company. And then the parents and children will have an opportunity to go outside the kindergarten wing to the bus zone. And that's where they'll get to get on the bus and right. talk about bus safety and get a chance to sit down and um, really explore the opportunity to start taking the bus to school and from school, even at, as a kindergartner. So we were excited about teaming up with the bus company. And we did do that uh, video with Officer Cohen earlier, just encourage people to take advantage of the bus because of it helps us with some mm -hmm. of the traffic issues in front of Crosby that we we're dealing with. So the more people that ride the bus, the yes. better, kind of in our opinion, because it just really helps alleviate some of our yeah. congestion problems we have there. That's true. So just as a reminder for me, um, if I'm a, a kindergarten dad uh, and I'm bringing my, uh, my son or my daughter, what do I need to bring that night again? So that night you want to have your birth child's birth certificate and um, we want to have three uh, documents that prove residency. We also want to make sure that the child is five years old on or before September 1st of 2020 um, and then also bringing uh, the payment for the $115 registration fee and like I said at that time there could be a payment plan set up if there's a partial payment paid that night. Sure. So what are some of the frequently asked questions that you get asked about this? Because for many of our parents, this is their very first experience either in District 50 or with something as formal as kindergarten because if they've been to a, uh, some type of pre-K somewhere else, they haven't mm -hmm. been necessarily in District 50. What are some of the common questions you get or concerns that maybe parents might have about this yeah. and how do you address those? Um, uh, uh, one of the common questions has been, is it all day? And yes, we are an all day kindergarten Good. program that's different from Washington um, or possibly other pre-K programs. So it's an all day program. Uh, students will come in in the morning and they'll, a typical day for a kindergartner, they'll come in, they'll be able to go right to their classroom and they have a universal breakfast for all students in our building at that same time. They'll have their breakfast, go about their day, they'll be getting music, art, physical education, uh, character ed classes, they'll have all of their other content areas with their um, reading and math and science um, and the dual program with the Spanish as well if that's what they're choosing. Um, and then they also have um, an experience that some parents have asked about is what is lunch like for my kindergartner? And that's sometimes a little bit scary for kindergartners because we have a big building and a big lunchroom but we walk through with our kindergartners for those first weeks to help them feel very comfortable and confident um, when they're going through the lunch line. And we do have those free lunch and free breakfast opportunities for all students. So that's a, just a lot of things. And um, so we have this registration, but then obviously that being quite a ways out from August when we'll come back mm -hmm. to school, are there other events that'll happen to kind of get bring our students back into the building to see it before school starts next year, or is that it? Yes. No, there's more events. Um, our kindergarten team is actually working through the process right now of a typical day in kindergarten where those students will have an opportunity to come over and spend a day, you know, seeing what it's like. We also have meet and greet where the parents will come meet their child's teacher. Um, there will be a couple of other opportunities for family nights and we would encourage parents to be a part of as much as they can sure. and have um, have those children coming into the building and just get comfortable walking in the school. Sure. Uh, Kathy, what about any parent that may not be able to, for whatever reason, make it to the, any of these registration times? How do they then get registered for kindergarten if they just literally can't make it because schedules just won't allow it? How do they do that? So there'll be the opportunity for online registration. Of course, we want to have these dates, January 23rd and 28th early, as Dr. Tafoya said, to help us with staffing, uh, making sure that we have the, the needs met for staffing uh, down the road if those registrations come in um, online and here at central office. Okay. That's, uh, that's really important to know that just uh, if you miss these two dates, mm -hmm. you're not excluded. And right. Try again next year and we're 
oh, well, redshirt your kid, I guess. Right. For another year. That's not the way. We really want to do this. And um, maybe uh, to those people listening to uh, this, if you know people that are of kindergarten age, please do spread that word. We want to make sure that word of mouth really gets out there because we are doing it a bit earlier than we have in past years just to make sure, again, we're getting those accurate counts for how many students to expect next year. And you can figure out uh, who uh, gets all the classrooms. And right. there's a lot of planning on your part that needs to be done uh, throughout this. Um, but it's exciting, isn't it, kindergarten? Do you remember your uh, kindergarten teacher's name? I do, Mrs. Harder. Oh, <laughs> she Harder. was my kindergarten teacher, and it was half-day kindergarten at that time. Oh, okay. So um, I was one who was a little shy and sad and didn't want to go to school. But mm. I knew every day that at lunchtime I got to walk home with my sister. <laughs> ah. So, But my sister had to go back to school. I got to walk home and stay home, and I used to tease her that she had to go uh, back. She had to go back. <laughs> uh, what was the most uh, significant memory of kindergarten? Probably Mrs. Harder. She uh, read to us, and she had a rocking chair, and she liked to sit in her rocking chair, and we would all sit on the carpet, and she read books to us. I loved the read-aloud time. That was one of my favorite things. Uh, yeah. My uh, memory is of Mrs. Rizzi. Um, two things. One, I can remember we had a classroom vote for the presidential election. That was 1976. Oh. So I remember um, trying to vote. Uh, I don't yeah. remember. It was Carter versus someone. I don't remember who he ran against right now. But uh, that was yeah. uh, memory. I remember having wow, a classroom vote. Really... It was like democracy in action. And then we had uh, the old film strips. Remember the film strips that oh, ran yeah. through? <laughs> we had one that actually disintegrated. It was so old in the projector. And it was amazing because it like went all these technicolors and blew up in smoke. It was for a six year old, five year old, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty significant. It was I pretty that. cool. Yeah, well, you know, boys, they like explosions and yes. chaos, right? Uh, I've got one of my own, and he loves that chaos. So, yeah. well, uh, Kathy, anything else we should um, point out about? Um, I just can't believe it's just the incoming class 2033, right? 2033. So it's hard to believe. Um, also that night wow. we will have dual language t-shirts for sale oh, at, awesome. at registration. I believe those are $10 if parents would like to bring a little extra money. Um, and we are taking orders at that time for our 2033 class t-shirts where parents can give us a size so we awesome. get the correct sizes ordered and we'll... 2033. Yeah, hard to uh, believe. That's remarkable. Also should mention that for our Spanish-speaking families, we will have uh, translators there yes. that will be able to help through all that. So this is not something that any language barriers will exist from. We can take care of all right. that. There'll be a lot of bilingual staff on hand to help all of our families feel welcome to kindergarten. Right. Well, our Crosby staff and our district staff are very excited. We're, um, we're welcoming all the families and students to come and uh, like Dr. Tafoya said, we have plenty of our bilingual staff ready to uh, greet everyone as well. So we hope to see everybody there. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Kathy, for joining me again. Yes. Uh, you're now the veteran of Facebook <laughs> Live. Uh, number Your first or your second one, I'm, everyone's going to be jealous of you that, that you got to do this twice. For Not really. But uh, it's been fun to talk to you about that. And thanks, everyone, for listening. And we uh, hope to see a lot of um, bright new faces for that class of 2033 at Crosby uh, very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.